Hey guys, so today we are going to solve this problem. Uh, so here I was checking some uh, previous experience, so interview experience. So I found this uh, online assessment of Salesforce, uh, which was asked for MTS role, I believe. Uh, so let's uh, move to the, this problem statement. So there are two problem statement. Uh, if I am going to first part, so first part uh, you will be able to find a solution here. Uh, someone had already put uh, the solution, but uh, there is no solution for problem number two. So let let me jump to problem number two. So in problem number two, it is asking in an organization there are n servers each with capacity uh, of capacity i. Uh, contiguous uh, sub segment l to r of server is set to be stable if capacity of l capacity equal to capacity of r and sum uh, equal to sum of l plus 1 uh, comma r minus 1 so in other words if we are saying capacity of server at the endpoints of the segment should be equal to sum of the uh, capacity of all the internal servers so uh, we have to find the number of stable sub segments of length three or more so obviously uh, if we are considering l and r so l plus uh, one or r minus one that will comes to for this example in mid, uh, middle so it should be at least length three so we have to find such a, a number of uh, stable sub, uh, sub segments so let me uh start with the coding part i hope you guys understand so uh, because of this uh, conditions we have to follow these conditions uh to find the number of stable sub segments so let me start with the code part okay uh, here i have created one class so if i am considering here uh, we have some array given and n given so suppose n is given uh, we can define it and here we have given the array which is capacity array capacity array here we can consider int of array and we will come to this part later and let me uh, put uh, one function here so better to keep uh, in separate function or uh, public or void here we have to uh, find count of stable stable segments we can say sub segments uh, here we can mention sub segments and here we are passing two parameters uh, first is the uh, we can directly take the capacity array uh, also so here capacity we are capacity okay um, now coming to this part uh, because we have to figure out so what are the ways uh, uh, to do that so if you are considering one uh, one approach is uh, uh, going to uh, if n is given so uh, we can consider every two pair and uh, in between we can uh, uh, so that will be n square and in between we we can uh, uh, iterate from l plus one, l plus one to r minus one so that will give the summation so it will be n cube but we can optimize it to n square also if we are going to consider uh, a prefix sum so in prefix sum if uh, we have l and r so we can directly figure out l plus one r minus one so for that here you need to just uh, put one uh, condition here uh, let me do one, one thing so consider answer initially initialized with zero 
and here what we have to take prefix sum also and one more thing if uh, uh, this capacity dot length basically if we are considering uh, less than 3 then obviously answer will be 0 return 0 uh, so here we have to pass I will come to this part later. Let me return the answer. And here, why we are getting okay? So length if a length is less than this, then we can directly then we will keep one prefix sum also. So uh what we can do if we are going to the do this way um, yeah. so first uh, you have to figure out the n capacity dot length is the n so here n minus one you have to answer and then we can initialize the zeroth element uh, basically zeroth element with capacity of zero okay and after that we will iterate for loop we can measure the for loop int i equal to one i less than uh, basically n plus plus i and here if we are constraint prefix sum of i is plus prefix sum initially it will be zero so it will be sum of a previous one and the uh, caps current capacity which is i okay uh, now we got the prefix sum so here if we not calculate prefix sum and now we are uh, moving to the solution part so uh, here if we consider we have to consider i and j okay now coming to i and j part uh, first thing we have to consider if we are doing for loop int i equal to 0 and i less than n minus this last uh, last element uh, uh, will be n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 till n minus 3 you can reach so here will be this one n plus plus i and similarly for loop int uh, j equal to from where we are going to start i plus 2 okay and then j less than n now coming to this part ij we are considering uh, so we have to compare first if capacity of i equal to the capacity of j then we are going to do anything uh, here now if this is equal uh, so obviously what we have to do we have to find l plus 1 to r minus uh, sorry r minus 1 uh, sum. so find sum l plus 1 to r minus 1 now coming to uh, this part we have to take the sum here so if we are going to do summation part so we have prefix already prefix sum so prefix sum if we are considering r minus 1 basically r is j here and minus we have to uh, include uh, l plus 1 so we have to minus prefix sum l till l uh, which is i okay prefix sum so we have to capture into this current uh, sub segment sum okay we can keep in this way yeah, and if 
this is current uh, we have to compare with this capacity of ith if it is matching then obviously the uh, we have to increase the answer part okay so this is a similar way we have to keep going and do this thing once that will be completed then we will get the answer so for this uh, we don't think here we need to take uh, this thing now uh, coming to the capacity part new int array here we are going to define with uh, some let's take uh, this example 933 uh, 9 9 comma 3 3 3 9 okay now we have to define this server sub segment okay uh, server sub segment class equal to new uh, yes server sub segment now what we have to do we have to call this function with capacity and we have to print the answer so let me do this thing uh, and this will be this will be done so uh, let's uh, revisit we are checking the length uh, first if it is less than three then obviously there is no point to calculating answer will be zero if answer is uh, uh, we will after that we will initialize answer with zero and capacity with the uh, uh, n with the capacity length and we will calculate the prefix sum uh, to do this uh, uh, segment uh, sum in O of 1 so here we will start from 0 to i and minus 3 and here uh, j we will start i plus 2 to uh, till n minus 1 and here we will check the capacity if it is matching then we will uh, take the sub segment sum and we will check with the capacity of i either left or right and then uh, we will do uh, uh, plus plus answer and we will return the answer so let me try to run it okay good uh here something is wrong let me do one thing oh here uh this is the problem uh let me revisit i plus one and n is n minus one till n minus three we can we should go okay here 17 line number i minus 1 capacity of i capacity of 0 we are initializing with this thing okay uh, it should moving to fourth index okay that should be fourth index that is okay 0 1 2 3 4 5 as the size and from this to till the time i is less than 5 which is fourth index okay it should work let me proceed this is the oh this is the error let me rerun it so answer is 2 so if we are going to look here the answer is 2 because of these two segments 333 3, 3, 3, and 93339 9, 9, 9 equal and 333 3, 3, summation is 9 so that is equal so answer is 2 so this is how we can do it and uh, if we want to optimize further what we can do a uh, little bit uh, we can use the uh, a ha a hash map uh, where we will we can keep uh, the value as a key and uh, array of uh, indexes as a another parameter so that will optimize uh, further because we uh, what we we will be doing uh, if, if we are going to jth element then uh, we can directly jump to the uh, we will directly check uh, this thing 
uh, with same value of previous past elements and their indexes and we can check only so it will also in a worst case uh, that will also n square solution but uh, it will optimize a little bit so in next video i will do that optimization also thanks guys